today. I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and it's a wonderful overcast day here in autumn subtropical Queensland. Got a bit of wind coming over so I hope that doesn't affect the microphone too much. Now there's a plane. I'm just going to fight through if that's okay. This video is about how to divide globe artichokes. I'm a bit hot and sweaty. I've been digging in the patch and doing just that because this is the time of year in autumn when our globe artichokes are ready to be divided up and placed into the garden. Globe artichokes can be grown by seed easily enough and I started all mine by seed but I do prefer to divide them up uh, through the roots, the root system and regrow like that rather than use the seed year after year. The reason for that is if you have a good root ball that you can divide up and create new plants from that you've got a lot of energy stored in that root already so that next plant will grow faster and it will produce a good bunch of globe artichokes for that next season. With seed you know it takes quite a lot longer and you can sometimes have to wait uh, or baby that plant over a season to get a really good result the next season after being a perennial. Here we grow them more like annuals because the, once the summer heat hits they all die back and they just can't continue going. So here in autumn uh, when the weather cools down and it's just right we see that the plants come back. Uh, apart from that it's just sort of like a dead root sitting there and then all of a sudden you see some nice shoots and the artichoke plants start to appear. Now this is excellent because you then know that those plants have actually survived through the harsh summer in other climates uh, like in the US perhaps where it's really cold they will go dormant over over the winter period and then come in the spring and once they start sprouting again you can see how many plants you've got on that root and then you can divide that up and uh, replant in, in some of those spots where maybe or a new spot or where maybe in my my situation I grow them at the front of this bed pretty much all the time and some plants don't survive and so that leaves gaps in the front of my vegetable garden and I can fill those gaps from the plants that did survive through the summer and have started to come up. I don't divide the roots up after the season when it's all died back simply because I'm not sure if that root is going to survive. Like I said, several plants out of my 10 might die and die permanently, just won't cope, and then I'll make up the difference from the other ones that do survive. Now to divide a globe artichoke, all you do is simply get a good sharp spade and drive it down between where the plants are obviously growing. Give a good bit of root ball to each plant. Now you can go thirds, you might get three or even sometimes four sprouts coming from the one root ball or stem. I wouldn't, I wouldn't sort of overdo it and get too greedy. Uh, say um, a third is maybe the most I would break it up. Two, dividing the root ball in half is my preferred option and then you just divide that root ball, you take the two halves, you may leave the one half there already in situ, and in my case that's what I do, and then I'll take the other half to fill the gap where other plants have maybe died off. And because that root ball is keeping so much energy, it'll give it time once you plant it into the soil it, and give it a bit of water, it'll give it time for the roots to grow properly and that small pup to be able to flourish. So yeah, you just keep the water up to it, make sure it doesn't dry out and you'll have a new artichoke plant that will grow nice and healthy and big and strong for the new coming season and you'll get globes off that plant in that first season where you should do. I know most of my plants do. And that's how you divide up a globe artichoke. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do see my other videos, go to my website, 
selfsufficientme.com and uh, check out some of uh, my written work. But otherwise, thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.